How do you rate the cast for their magic skills? Has anyone done particularly bad or particularly good? I wouldn't call anybody bad, but oh, I think... Oh, come on. I think, uh, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg, he would he would call himself challenged. When yeah. it comes to magic <laughs> but, really? Uh, I thought he was really good. Yeah, well, no, it's Dave that's really good. Yeah. Dave oh, is really, really good. Tricks. So uh, Dave can really spin cards, throw cards. Jesse can spin cards and throw cards as well, but uh, I think Dave has the natural ability to become, if he wanted to, a professional magician. I you think, sure? Yeah, but well, they're, well, they're committed actors yeah uh, and that's the thing I, I think once you put in uh, the effort and practice 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 uh, which they all did I mean even Daniel Radcliffe he didn't really have to do any magic in the movie but he's got one card move that's really hard to do and the crazy thing is in the movie they show him messing it up the most of the magic seems quite practical <clears throat> this time round what are the main differences in magic from the first film? The main difference is that most of the magic in Now You See Me Too has the potential to be done in real life. So the three card Monty sequence that you see Dave Franco do, that was all shot uh, in one shot. Uh, oh. And if you look at the movie, you can see that it's all done in one shot and you'll be fooled badly by it, I hope. And then we expose it later in the movie how it's actually done. Lizzie Kaplan can really produce doves. Uh, we really chopped her head off in no the scene. Way. Yeah, it's not done with CGI. It took me three months to develop. <laughs> It took me three months to develop that illusion where oh, wow. uh, we can actually see her head being uh, chopped off and falling down. But it's her, her real moving head. It wasn't a dummy head. It wasn't. Yeah. So. I thought it was a dummy. No, no, no. It was really done. And I, I hope. I hope in the DVD they show that uh, they expose rather how we actually did it because it's fascinating. You know. So if if you tell me that there's 28 percent chance it works or I die, I'm going for it. Really? That's yeah. what you so you're a risk taker yeah. then. What's that? You're a risk taker. Think of your first pet. Can you do that for me? Yes. Okay, good. If I could tell you two things about that pet right now, would that amaze you? Yeah. 